Hello Internet, welcome to Doing Editor's channel. G2 lesson number 54 is going to be about learning how to pass values from the view page to the layout page. So both are view objects. So let's take a look at the view class to find out how to do this. So in the view class, we have this public params property. It's an array, so we can pass in values to that params property. So that will be available both in the layout files and the index.php or the view file. Okay, so there are two ways. We can use params and we can use blocks. First, let's take a look at the params and let's do a quick example of that. So to access params, to add a value in the view file, I'm going to do this. So this refers to the view object and params property. So I'm going to create test and I'm going to give it a string of this is a test string. Okay, now this is in the view file. Now how to access this in the layout file. So right in the layout files I'm going to do, I'm going to first check if that params is there. So if is set this params and test and now if that is there, I'm going to simply echo it out. Echo this params test and refresh. See, so we add it into the sidebar. Now this is a test string that appears in the navbar. So that's what we want. So it depends on the view file. If I go to companies grid view, you won't be able to see this. Companies, let's go to companies. See, you won't see that. So you we can we can pass unique values to the layout file within a view. So that's how the breadcrumbs also works. If you take a look at the breadcrumbs, here we have breadcrumbs. This title is added, and in the layout files, we will be able to find the breadcrumbs if we have added it. Yeah, we have no, we have removed breadcrumbs. Anyways, that's how you do it through params, but Params is good for if you want to pass a simple string, but if you want to add a HTML block like an image, like an advertisement to a layout file from the view file, we can use the begin blocks function to do that. So that's that will add values to this blocks property. So we can do that using this begin block. And again, we have to have a value. Uh, what is the block name? So we'll give advertisement. And here we can see this end block. Okay. Now we can have. Let's have H three. Hold on. So here we'll end it. H3 this is a uh, advertisement Oops. okay now all you have to do is check if this blocks advertisement is there advertisement is there if it is so let's echo it out paste okay let's refresh oh end block unknown property so it's an end block is not a property end block is a function sorry and refresh and we get this is advertisements so if you want dynamic blocks in your layout file and that depends on uh, the view file this is the simple way to do it so we now know how to have blocks and paradigms. Okay, that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, it's a very common thing that we would want to do in a e application. So thanks for watching. Do subscribe, do share and do like and have a good day. Take care.